This picture was taken by me back in 2017, the very moment I picked up my first ever Ryzen processor. Now because I was into content creation, I ended up picking the 8 core Ryzen 7 1700. And although first gen Ryzen didn't blow us away in terms of clock speeds or IPC, AMD offered something Intel simply refused to give us more CPU cores at an affordable price tag. Back then AMD faced great competition from Intel. Intel. And while first gen Ryzen didn't perform terrible in gaming benchmarks, for the most part both Skylake and KB Lake generally did better in most games thanks to higher clock speeds and Intel's well polished architecture. Now fast forward to 2020 and the gap between the two is pretty much non-existent. Sure Intel should still be considered the first pick for anyone that strives for the highest possible frame rate, but the difference is now so tiny that it's almost impossible to tell any difference between the two. Now seeing that AMD now slowly getting back on top again, have sparked rumors suggesting that AMD's upcoming 4th gen Ryzen could be delayed. And so the question is pretty simple, has AMD decided to postpone Zen 3 and 4th gen Ryzen to early 2021? In case you're a bit out of the loop, Zen 3 was originally said to come out in September 2020, but according to a recent rumor coming from Taiwan's biggest newspaper called Digi Times. This is translated by Shiko Kwa, aka Retired Engineer on Twitter. AMD seems tempted to delay next year Ryzen a bit. And in today's video, guys, we're gonna discuss this. And it turns out AMD has actually responded. And I think you're going to be pretty happy what they had to say. Now, before we dive into this, what do you think about this? Does delaying Sam 3 make any type of sense? Share your thoughts down below. So, first, let's just take a step back and look at it from AMD's point of view and try and understand this. Why would AMD want to delay things? Well, according to most people, it wouldn't be because of any technical difficulties, but simply due to consistently strong demand for Ryzen 3000 series and lack of competition from Intel. See, originally Intel was supposed to ship 10 nanometer in volume this year for the enthusiast market, but according to DigiTimes, Intel simply won't be able to accomplish that. And if that wasn't enough, Comet Lake isn't doing that good either. Now, although Comet Lake is a fast processor, it is still stuck on the same architecture that Intel developed back in 2015. There are however brighter times for Intel as they're planning to launch Rocket Lake at the end of 2020, but it should be said this would be the earliest date and obviously things could be delayed. But Rocket Lake will still be stuck on 14 nanometer, and the first 10 nanometer desktop processor called Alder Lake will only be released at the end of 2021 at the earliest, which is to say that Intel is yet to fully enter the 10 nanometer era for another year and a half, at least if we look at the mainstream desktop platform. Obviously AMD is aware of that, and because of this, they would seem tempted to delay their 7 nanometer EUV launch till 2021. Now, interestingly guys, the report also suggests that AMD might actually decide to skip 7 nanometer EUV or together and simply move to 5 nanometer and according to this leak they would release Ryzen 4000 based on 5 nanometer at CES in 2021. However guys none of this is actually true and a few hours ago AMD's Robert Hallock made it pretty clear. Take a look at this. You may have seen reports that Sam 3 was delayed until 2021 and this is not true. I categorically reject those rumors. Sam 3 remains on track, on schedule or 2020 as planned. And while he didn't mention any specific date here, he did say Sam 3 is still on track and whatever this means, a October or a December launch, yeah well that remains to be seen and if you ask me, knowing that big Navi is set to release around September, I think we're gonna see 4th and Ryzen being released in late November or early December. But you know what, I wanna know what you think. And so as for release date, yes we are still on track for a 2020 the release. We still aren't 100% sure when it's coming, but I'm gonna keep you guys informed. So you wanna make sure you stay subscribed and you click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any juicy updates. Also, just to clarify things, Sam 3 is not taking the step to 5 nanometer. We are still on 7 nanometer. In case you're interested in specifications as well as pricing for upcoming 4th Gen Ryzen, I have a video linked up down below that covers all the 
juicy details guys honestly i cannot wait for next gen ryzen cpus and knowing that all existing b550 and x470 boards also will be fully compatible makes m3 even more promising imagine being able to toss out your old second gen ryzen for a fourth gen ryzen without having to change any other parts in your pc makes me want to giggle on the inside again i would love to hear your opinions on whether you're excited for what m3 could bring but before we end this video i got one more tiny thing i want to show you guys so as we know it's never really been possible to play any games on intel's integrated gpus but it seems like intel wanna change that with this ce architecture and we should see this architecture being introduced with the tiger lake processor family for laptops what we don't know what exact specs ce will offer in portable form intel's performance strategist ryan shroud decided to take some time off and show what the tiger lake ultrabook can accomplish in battlefield 5 and as we can see in this video it turns out battlefield 5 seems to run pretty good without any noticeable problems uh, he mentions that the system uses early drivers and software so performance can be even better when the processor reached the market the game is running at 1920 by 1080 with high level graphics as we can see he got fraps up and running and it seems like the game is running and averages around 30 fps so pretty interesting stuff coming from intel and again i would love to hear your opinions on whether you're excited for what sam 3 could bring and in the meantime yeah watch either of these two videos to learn more and i will see you guys in the next video